Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the 2020 Virtual Spotlight Awards, coming to you live from the Community Learning Campus at St. Anthony's in Camden, New Jersey. I am Barry Moore, the music teacher at St. Joseph Pro Cathedral, and will be your host for this afternoon. As I mentioned, we're coming to you live from the Community Learning Campus at St. Anthony, one of the five Catholic Partnership School campuses, which includes Holy Name, Sacred Heart, St. Cecilia's, and St. Joseph Pro Cathedral School. Each one of these schools has its own unique characteristics, yet they all share in one vision, to ensure the children of the Catholic Partnership Schools will be intellectually confident, actively compassionate, and morally courageous, and that our students are committed to living and building a more just and peaceful world. We see this vision living out in our students and alumni every day, but none of this could be achieved without the support of the generous benefactors like Bruce and Cheryl Paperone, Rich, Marsha, and Kirsten Hocker of the Ethel May Hocker Foundation. A huge thanks to you, our honorees, for all that you do for the Catholic Partnership Schools and the 865 deserving students. To shed some light on how these donations are working, here are a few impressive statistics worth mentioning. 97% retention rate, 100% graduation rate, and 82 of our graduates have gone on to two and four year colleges and universities, trade schools, and have entered the military. So now that you've learned a little more about CPS, you can see that we have a lot to thank God for each and every day. Now, before we begin the award ceremony, I would like to introduce Father Edward Friel, who will lead us in prayer. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, we come together in prayer and in gratitude for all the many gifts that we have received from you. And we come in gratitude for Bruce and Cheryl Paperone and for the Ethel May Hawker Foundation for all their generous support for over these many years. And Lord, during these difficult times, we ask you to guide and to keep safe all of our principals, teachers, staff, student, and families of our schools, and that our students be open to the gifts and talents that God gives them. And we ask you to continue to guide the staff and the board of the Catholic Partnership Schools. And this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you, Thank you, Father A, for the beautiful words. We are grateful to have you as a member of our board and a great supporter of our schools. So folks, during the course of the hour, we will be providing you with updates on our Text to Give campaign, as well as the virtual auction. If you haven't had a chance to log in to click bid, please consider doing it so now, as there are a lot of great items up for bid. Don't miss your chance to golf at two prestigious golf clubs. Have dinner at the chef's table with nine of your favorite people at the absolute amazing Hearthside Restaurant in Collingswood. Host a painting party for your friends or children. Enjoy the great outdoors with a new fire pit or movie screen. You get the point. Go bid. Don't miss your chance. And if you simply want to donate to these very determined, deserving students of CPS, please text to give. So now, without further ado, it is my pleasure to introduce a very special video to our teachers, principals, and students who will tell you in their own words why CPS schools are the spotlight in Camden.
My name is Lakeisha Walker and I'm the fifth grade teacher at Sacred Heart School. The one word I would use to describe Sacred Heart is family. It's a group of great people with similar beliefs and morals that work together and we collaborate to make sure our scholars can be the best that they be. My faculty is very dedicated. They work hard. They're always trying to come up with new ideas and go in the extra mile and they love their students. I have to say, when I was a fourth grade teacher, we used to line up outside. When I came out, my class was lined up and I just looked at them and thought they were the most beautiful group of children I've ever seen in my life. From there, I was just hooked. It was just like a, a love affair that's going on for 33 years. St. Joseph's Pro Cathedral is a beacon of light in the city of Camden. My favorite tradition at St. Joseph's is the hallway dance party. During Catholic Schools Week, at any given time during the day, one of the teachers will come over the loudspeaker and say it's time for a hallway dance party. Everyone pours out of their classroom, we're all in the hallway, and we play a song, and we all dance. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. We all dance, you know, as the saying goes, like no one's watching. And uh, the children love it, we all love it, and it's the moment that I most feel Christ right here in our school. My name is Saria de Lizorolava. I teach first grade dual language and I teach at St. Joseph's. CPS and St. Joe's means hope to me. I feel like it allows me to make a difference every day and shape and mold with the help of parents our future leaders. I have been with Holy Name School for 10 years. However, this is my first year as the principal. I started out as the language arts teacher in the middle school. Holy Name means family to me. Holy Name means a place of safety and love and shelter for our students here at Camden. If I were to describe the teachers at Holy Name School, I would say the word would be amazing. It couldn't be any one adjective because there's so much that they bring. They're selfless, they, they just do everything for the students and they, they're engaging, they're exciting, um, they're spiritual, and they believe that we are doing God's work here. Growing up, I went to St. Anthony's of Padua, and um, I could just remember how committed the teachers were. We were their priority as students, and our class sizes were very small as compared to public schools at that time. That was definitely an experience that I will cherish and take with me years up until this point where I return, um, it was just, you know, a God divine appointment in which in my teaching career I realized that that was the most important thing to teaching besides, you know, going to college to learn how to be a teacher. It was having that character component and it kind of just like a full circle to bring me back to where it all began. I'm Sister Alicia Perna and I'm the principal at St. Cecilia School. I believe that when life sends rain, hope dances in the puddles. And at St. Cecilia's School, we're teaching the children how to dance. My students can't be described in just one word. There's a plethora of words I could give. They're happy, caring, eager, excited to learn, lovable, goofy, creative. They're just awesome. I think St. Cecilia's is a, is a hidden gem in the midst of, a, of, of the neighborhood. I have been at St. Cecilia's as a teacher for 24 years, um, but I also grew up at St. Cecilia's. I was a student here, I was a parishioner here, um, I've had all my sacraments here at St. Cecilia's. St. Cecilia's means family to me. When I think of St. Cecilia's, it's, as I said, it's, I've been here my whole life, um, growing up here, and then becoming a teacher and working here. It's, it really has touched every aspect of my life. Something I would want people to know about the Community Learning Campus is that it is a great place for students that need a lot of attention. Something that I've always loved about Catholic schools is the amount of personal, individualized attention that we're able to give to students. The dual language program I think is a unique program. Um, we are here doing both languages for the students and I see when they know their home language, they are 
happy to express themselves in their language, where I know if they were in another school, they wouldn't have the same thing. So the Fabulous Support Team um, started at CPS in 2011, and the purpose of the team is to kind of bridge the gap between the schools and the families and provide as much support as possible to the families and the students to help them be successful. One of the benefits of having been here for as long as I have been is that I've gotten to know so many students and so many families. And I've seen kids now graduate from eighth grade, graduate from high school, go on to college, and the things that they accomplish, and more importantly, the people they are, always amazes me. I just love watching our students grow up. I love watching them become the adults that they're becoming. And I just think that they're great people doing great things in the world, and it's something I'm really proud to be a part of. Since Steelers means being a part of the family and getting a great education. Holy Name is my second home. I am blessed to be at Sacred Heart. It's always so comforting to me to know that I can just come here tomorrow. Wow! <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video and have a deeper appreciation for the value that Catholic Partnership Schools provides to our students, families, and community. As you know, 2020 has been a challenging year, to say the least. But these challenges have been met head-on by the principals, teachers, students, and faculty members you just heard from during the video. We are so incredibly proud of our entire CPS faculty and staff as they have worked tirelessly since March to ensure our students are fed, safe, and educated in a manner that they deserve. From developing a plan to deploy computers to all 600, or I'm sorry, 865 CPS students, to leading and communicating in hundreds of online meetings and Google Classrooms, to distributing more than 30,000 meals via a drive through food distribution site, and spending countless summer hours to prepare for a safe return to school. These folks are nothing short of amazing, and I am grateful to call them my colleagues and my friends. Before playing the next commercial from our generous sponsor, Bayada Home Healthcare, we would be remiss if we didn't take a moment to thank Anne and Mark Beata for their continued commitment to CPS. Anne and Mark continue to support CPS through sponsorship and have very generously helped to place nurses in all five CPS campuses to ensure our students stay safe and healthy during the COVID-19 outbreak. Our mission is to help people have a safe home life with comfort, independence, and dignity. And despite an illness or disability, everybody wants to be home, everybody wants to be happy, and they may need our help. Most clients, they don't want our help, but they need our help. And we're there to make their life a little bit better. Thank you, Bayada Home Health Care, for all that you do for us and for our communities. Next, I'd like to introduce Chidima, or Chidi Chikwekwe, alumna, St. Joseph Pro Cathedral. Chidima is currently in college and has remained as an active member of the CPS community. Her siblings and cousins are also alums, and a few are attending CPS schools this year. I'm going to stop talking now and let Chidima tell her own story. Good evening, everyone. My name is Chidima Chikweke, but I am known as Chidi by most people. First and foremost, I would like to thank the Catholic Partnership Schools for inviting me to share tonight about my experience and time with CPS. It is truly an honor. My Igbo name Chidima, when translated to English, means God is good. God has done many good things in my life, but 14 years ago, the greatest thing that God has done for me was to let me become a part of 
the St. Joe's Pro-Cathedral School family. A typical day started off with a warm welcome from our principal, Mrs. Montgomery, as she entered the school. On my way to class, I was met by my best friends and some of my favorite teachers and staff. In class, I learned new things as usual and talked to the teachers about life and what's going on in the world, but recess is where it really went down. A heated game of four square at recess was where I was able to confide in my friends about what was happening because nine times out of 10, they were feeling the same thing I was feeling. During lunch, I was reminded to always be grateful for the things I have and to not take for granted the people who surround me. As I said, Grace, along with everyone else in the cafeteria. I got to wind down, explore and nurture my creative side with art, music, and gym class. After school, I was sent home knowing that I was receiving the best education I could get and the best environment that encouraged growth and curiosity in a young girl as she prepared for high school. Unfortunately, I don't remember much before fourth grade, but some of my best memories I have with St. Joe's were playing my mind as if it happened yesterday. Like being awarded the 2013 NCEA Seaton Award by Mrs. Montgomery and Christine Healy. Ironically, my eighth grade teacher, Mrs. Green, was really big on climate change and recycling, but she emphasized the importance of meditation and mindfulness. She showed me breathing techniques and how to know my limits when enough is enough. She also taught me how to ground myself in times of stress. This helped me so much in high school when I ran for student government and became a part of many sports, clubs, and other extracurricular activities. Currently, we are in a pandemic that has affected most of our lives directly and indirectly. It has changed the way we engage with one another and created a detour in our everyday lives. And I have definitely felt overwhelmed by all of this, but I have in my back pocket what Ms. Green taught me about meditation and mindfulness to help ground myself in times of stress. Another teacher that has really influenced me was Mr. Moore. Mr. Moore gave me my first solo in choir. Despite being very nervous, I realized that music was something that I always want to have a part, that I always want to be a part of my life. Thanks to Mr. Moore and his push in the right direction, I expanded my music horizons in musical theater at Camden Catholic High School. And I am currently double majoring in sociology and musical theater as a sophomore at Rutgers University. The Catholic Partnership Schools have shaped me into the knowledgeable and talented woman I am today. And the fruits of their labor through me is seen by my family who has decided to send the rest of my siblings and my cousins through CPS where they know the many doors that CPS opens after one graduates. Thank you to all the teachers, principals, staff, and faculty that make CPS what it is today. Thank you for all the effort you put to accommodate students, especially in this time of the pandemic. Lastly, congratulations to Mrs. and Mr. Paparon and, and Mr. Richard Hawker of the Ethel May Hawker Foundation. Thank you to Dima for your inspiring words. I was touched that you mentioned me during your remarks. Students like you are the reason that teachers like me stay focused and motivated. I am so glad that you are doing well. What a great tribute to Catholic Partnership Schools. As you know, Chidima mentioned she attended Camden Catholic High School. Our next sponsor, the Dominica Foundation, has made it possible for students like Chitty to attend Camden Catholic as Dominica Scholars. The Dominica Foundation has been stalwart supporters of CPS and have made it possible for numerous CPS alum to attend Catholic high schools. Without these generous support, a number of our students would not have been able to afford to continue their Catholic education. 
Not only has the Dominican Founda Dominica Foundation been steady supporters of our students, Beppe Paperno has been serving on the board of trustees for the past 12 years. Pepe is now the first to take the title of board emeritus, and his daughter Elena has graciously accepted to follow in her father's footsteps. We cannot thank Pepe enough for all that he has done and continues to do for CPS and the children of Camden. Thank you, Dominica Foundation, for all that you do for our students while they attend Catholic partnership schools and as they grow into Dominica scholars. I particularly love seeing the orchestra picture as music is a passion that I love sharing with my students. And here is a quick update on where we are with the virtual auction and text to give. Our auction has raised $5,345 and our donation is $10,200. Thank you so much for your generosity. And speaking of generosity, it is my pleasure to introduce Christine Healy, who has led the Catholic Partnership Board since its inception 12 years ago. We are deeply grateful for Christine's leadership, time, treasure, and commitment to our unique schools. It is wonderful to be at this virtual moment with you tonight. I can't believe it's been 12 years that the partnership has been in existence. We have graduated over a thousand students since we began. Students that are ready, ready intellectually, emotionally, spiritually, socially to move on to the next level. I feel such gratitude about that. And this year, wow, what a year we have had. We have faced learning during the time of COVID. We've been having important conversations on racial justice and equity. And we've also been facing a transition of leadership from our founding executive director, Sister Karen Dietrich, to the fantastic interim, thank you very much, Frank Monahan. Um, and finally now, we are so excited about the incoming talented, talented John Hayden, who will be the new executive director and is ushering in the Vision 2030. And who was there when it all began but the Paparoon family? And not far behind them, the Hawkers. And they've both been in it for the long haul, still supporting the partnership. I remember when we very first started and I thought, how can you ask people who already give so much in Camden to do more? Bruce and, Bruce and Cheryl are the originals, as I like to say. Not the originals from the beginning of time, but the originals from the beginning of, of our start. They came during the founding year, which is often the riskiest time um, to support something. They're the kind of people that are lean in. They are in the arena, not on the sideline. And I am so grateful for them. It's a similar story for Rich Hawker and the Ethel May Hawker Foundation. Ethel May is Rich's mom, and I know Ethel May is looking down, smiling at all the accomplishments um, made within the foundation. What I love about Rich and the whole family, Marcia, his wife, Kirsten, his daughter, who runs the foundation, they share the same values that I think we instill in the partnership. Work hard, be ready, and seize opportunity when it presents itself. Also, there's a real sense of loyalty, loyalty to help each other get back up when someone falls. I think it's the characteristics like that that are true for many family businesses like the Hawkers and the Paparones, who are such fine people. Last year, CPS launched its new vision by establishing curriculum on career exploration starting in middle school. We're continuing to prepare students for the college pathway, yes, but we are now building out career technical education path along with the, the trades and introducing careers that actually are mapping to the needs of the regional business community and to the future of work in our region. This is really exciting, this shift. 
I wonder if we have students sitting now in our classrooms that are considering the building and construction trades or something and may someday work with the paparoons, or perhaps they are in the financial services industry and they uh, might uh, work with the hawkers at some point. If there is one thing we have learned in this volatile year, it's that our students need to be thinking now about the career track that will both express their talents and bridge to the secure jobs in their backyard or wherever readiness and opportunity take them to meet their dreams. And with that, I just want to offer a final thanks to our Spotlight Awardees, the many, many generous donors, pause, mm, uh, our families and students, mm, and finally, for all those many hands who make CPS work every day, teachers, principals, administrators, and CPS management team and board, it is a privilege, it is a privilege to be in it with you. And I never, never, never pause to forget that. I just, I'm so grateful for, for the opportunity to be able to do this work along with so many fine people. So with that, I will now pass the virtual mic to my, uh, to the talented Barry Moore. Thank you, Christine. As Christine just mentioned, we have a new executive director, John Hayden, who you will be meeting later this evening. We are thrilled to have John on board and would like to also reiterate Christine's sentiments that the students, faculty, and staff of CPS would like to give a heartfelt thank you to Frank Monahan for leading the charge over the past 15 months as the search for a new executive director was underway. Next up is a brief commercial from our generous sponsors, M&T Bank. We're all searching for ways to connect. We long to be part of a group we believe in, a group that helps define who we are. This is what it means to be part of a community. At M&T Bank, supporting all the important communities our customers are part of is nothing new to enable, encourage, and empower people and communities to thrive, there's nothing more important. Thank you, m and Bank, for your support. We are deeply grateful to have Denise Monahan as a member of the Catholic Partnership Board. Denise has been an instrumental part of the board, serving on various committees and being a valued advocate for CPS. I would now like to invite Jahan Lipscomb, a seventh grade student at Sacred Heart to the stage. Jahan is a talented musician and athlete and an all around great kid. Welcome, Jahan. Good afternoon. My name is Jahan Lipscomb and I'm a seventh grade student at Sacred Heart School. I came to Sacred Heart in fourth grade after attending a local charter school. My dad and, and a number of my family members also went to this great school. I, rem I remember my first day and feeling welcomed by my classmates who are my great friends today. I feel blessed to be at Sacred Heart. The class sizes are small which means your teachers really get to know you and you can feel how much they care about you and your success. My younger sister Janaya is in fifth grade and also loves Sacred Heart. I'm, I'm involved in a number of activities at my school and in my community. I really like being a member of CPS Choir and the basketball team, and I play, play football for consulting. I also really enjoy math and would like to study technology or engineering in college. My goal is to attend Catholic high school or maybe become a Catholic and then go to Temple University or Ohio State. Well, now that you know about me, let me spend some time introducing one of our 2020 Virtual Spotlight Award honorees, the Ethel May Hocker Foundation. This foundation has been supporting students like me for the last decade. Mr. Hocker, his wife, and his daughter are to be congratulated on their dedication to, to providing a better education for the students of Camden. And now here is Ms. Mr. Richard Hocker to accept the 2020 Virtual Spotlight Award.
thank you, Jihad, for this wonderful award, and I, I appreciate it very much. I want to, to thank the Healy family for their leadership in building the Catholic Partnership Schools to enable these children and scholars in Camden to have a choice in their education to get, a, get the best opportunity for a life of success. After many years of knowing these wonderful people who developed a successful educational program in their schools, our family foundation, the Athel May Hawker Foundation, which is led by Kirsten Hawker, is proud to have been a longtime supporter of the students and the school. Our family has worked diligently for 20 years to deal with the inequality in our public schools and our urban communities. <clears throat> and this has led us to focus our foundation only on sixth through 12th grades to provide choice for the parents in these neighborhoods to obtain a better educational opportunity for the children at 14 different independent schools throughout the Philadelphia and Camden area. At the elementary and high school level, the success of the quality and the value-laden education at these schools has led to a great outcomes for these children to obtain college opportunities with full scholarships due to their educational success at schools as Catholic partnership schools. Our foundation has built our student program to 90 students this year and with a goal of a thousand scholars. After 20 years, <clears throat> we have now reached this, we reached this initial goal, but we started with just two students at Valley Forge Military Academy 20 years ago. Our family feels that commitment, committing to eliminating inequality in the American schools will be the key to success for the minority community in their future to succeed in life. Thank you very much, Christine and the Healy family, and God bless you. Thank you, Rich, for your kind words and continued support. We look forward to working with Kirsten as she takes the helm of the Ethel May Hawker Foundation. We are beyond blessed to have generous donors who believe in our mission and our ability to educate Camden's children. Congratulations on this much deserved award. And thank you, Jahan, for your fabulous introduction. I would now like to invite Jana Santana, eighth grader from St. Joseph Pro Cathedral School to the stage. Jana is one of my students, and as you will see in an upcoming segment, a very talented singer. Good afternoon. My name is Jenna Santana and I'm an 8th grade student at St. Joe's Pro Cathedral School. I have attended St. Joe's since I was in kindergarten and have loved every minute of being, at, of being an amazing, a student at this amazing school. I was lucky enough to have two sisters lead the way for me at St. Joe's. Both of my sisters were active members of the school, went on to Kenna Catholic as Dominica Scholars, and were very good basketball players. I also enjoy playing basketball and help to follow in their footsteps as a Dominica scholar at Camden Catholic. I have many interests, including being part of the CPS band, choir, and art club, and also their basketball and softball teams. CPS has provided numerous opportunities for students to get involved, and I like to do just that. I could go on and on about St. Joe's Pro Cathedral, but a few things I would really want you to know is that this school is like my family. Mr. Moore is like a second dad to me. My classmates are fun and kind, and my and my teachers always go out their way to make sure I get a great education. I am very blessed to be part of CPS. Thank you for letting me introduce myself. Now, I would like to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Paparon, so who are 2020 Virtual Spotlight Award honorees. The, the Paparons were one of, were one of the Catholic schools partnership the Catholic Partnership School's original donors. They believed in our mission 12 years ago, and they continue to support students like me and Jahan because they believe in the value of Catholic education. They also have four children 
who attended Catholic school so they know the importance of a faith-based education and the impact it can have on the youth of young people. I would now like to turn the microphone over to Mr. and Mrs. Pepperon so they can accept the 2020 Virtual Award. Well, thank you, Barry and Jana, for your introductions. And Cheryl and I would like to thank the Catholic Partnership Schools for honoring us this year. And thinking about what we wanted to say tonight, we thought about who the true heroes were, who are the teachers, the aides, the coaches, and administrators who get the opportunity to work directly with the kids, helping to grow their young minds to become educated young adults with a foundation of faith-based values to hopefully someday become our future leaders and entrepreneurs. When Christine Healy called me so many years ago, about helping to invest in this initiative to save the Catholic schools in Camden, we're more than happy to do so. See, having gone to a Catholic school and having sent our children to Catholic school, we knew the importance of having this option available. There's a real need for the kids in Camden to have the opportunity to go to a school where young people can feel safe and loved in a way that the Camden Public Schools just can't offer them. The Healy family has been incredibly generous, not only with their philanthropy, but with their time, hard work, and vision to create an incredible nonprofit organization. They have fostered the Catholic Partnership programs to grow well beyond Camden to help many other schools throughout the area, in addition to schools both nationally and internationally. Christine has put together an incredible board they deserve to be recognized for their leadership and hard work. And you know, we certainly know the love and passion that Pepe Properno has brought to the board. But I would like to give a special shout out to a very good friend of mine, Joe Del Duca. Joe not only has been involved in fundraising, but he also brings his talent as an attorney and a developer to the board. But most importantly, Joe has mentored the kids. He's also been a coach at Holy Name and uh, Sacred Heart in basketball. Joe epitomizes someone who brings his time, talent, and treasure to the organization. Of course, the real driving force to create this incredible nonprofit initiative is Mr. Robert Healy. His vision and ideas have become a reality through the efforts of his daughter, Christine. It has been her hard work and brilliant implementation of her father's wishes to make the Catholic Partnership Schools a success. Chris, you yourself are an original, and we thank you for asking Bruce and I to be involved with the launch of CPS. We cannot be more proud of everything that you have accomplished in Camden. Bruce and I would also like to thank our family, our friends, and associates who have been more than generous in supporting this event and other worthwhile causes in the area as well. John, I also feel very honored to join the list of past honorees, the Viatas, the Papernos, the Flatsers, the Holmans. They, along with the Healy family, has really been the backbone of philanthropic support for our region of Southern New Jersey. So may the future of the Catholic Partnership Schools and the opportunities that they provide to the children of camp continue with great success. For the rest of us, I hope that we continue to give in a way that really makes a difference in our community. Because when you love someone else, that means the world to them. So thank you everybody for having us this evening. And I hope you have a great night tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Bruce and Cheryl, for your kind words and for being prominent supporters of Catholic Partnership Schools since its inception 12 years ago. We can say with confidence that we would not be able to provide the programs and resources for our students if it wasn't for you and those who followed your lead by donating to these awesome kids. Thank you, Jana, for your warm introduction. Bruce, Cheryl, Rich, 
Marsha and Kirsten. This next section was recorded by two of our talented students, Jana, who just introduced the Pepernos, Pepperones, and Kate Sanchez, who was featured in the introduction video. The girls chose this song specifically for you. Enjoy. Thank you, Janet and Kate. You inspire me, and I hope you will continue to use your beautiful voices throughout your life to spread joy and kindness. I'm very blessed to be the music teacher for talented children like Kate and Janet, and I know very well that we need our donors and sponsors to make these programs available to our students. Our final number in on the auction is $5,625. And again, if you would simply like to donate to our wonderful students, please text to give. Not too late to text to give. Now I would like to introduce a brief, a brief commercial by our sponsor, PCH Technologies. Tim Gwim from PCH is new to our board and is the 2020 Virtual Spotlight Awards technology sponsor. A big thank you to Tim and to PCH. Hello everybody, I'm Timothy Gwynn, President and CEO of PCH Technologies, and we're proud to support the Catholic Partnership School Spotlight Awards honoring Bruce and Cheryl Paparone and the Ethel May Hawker Foundation. I'm excited to be a brand new board member, and I can't wait until we can do these events in person again. Again, congratulations to everyone from PCH Technologies. Thanks again, Tim Gwim and PCH Technologies. We look forward to having you as an active board member and a supporter of CPS. And just in, we have an update for the text to give, the dough, our total is $123,725. So thank you again for your generous support. Next, I would like to ask John Hayden, Catholic Partnership School's new executive director, to come to the stage. John comes to us from Harcum College, or came to us from Harcum College, 
on October the 12th. While he is new to CPS, he is not new to nonprofit world and has over 30 years of professional experience, which we trust will help us move CPS into the next phase of educating Camden's children. Welcome, John. Hello, everyone. John Hayden. I'm thrilled to be here. As Barry mentioned, I'm the new executive director. I want to thank Christine Healy and the entire CPS team for the warm welcome over these past three weeks and truly full immersion in CPS. This has been a very heartwarming and exciting event. I really am happy to be sharing and honoring and celebrating our honorees, Bruce and Cheryl Paparone, Rich, Marcia, and Kirsten Hocker. You guys are true supporters of our mission, supporters of our students, and for that I'm truly grateful. The reality is it's people like you that stand with us in the pursuit of our mission and the important work we accomplished that makes the place so special. Nelson Mandela probably said it best when he said, an education is the most powerful tool we have to change the world. And here at CPS, we are putting that tool to full use. In the early years of our students' education, we, teach, we help them learn to read so the rest of their life they can read to learn. And the results are proving it true. Our, our proficiency scores are two to three times what Camden School District scores are, and we do it for about a third of the cost. Now, as an accounting guy, in case you didn't know that, those numbers are impressive ret return on investment to me. And now with our Vision 2030 and the introduction of career technical education into the program, our students are going to learn how they can earn a livable wage, secure a, a good career, and really help the needs of our local employers. So it's a win all around. For me, this mission is personal. I'm a Catholic school graduate, and it was my Catholic school education that really secured my future and made me have a wonderful life. As Christine has often said in our conversations in this short period that I'm here, it's really a very simple mission. It's all about the kids. If we can help them meet their full potential, then we've succeeded, and we're succeeding, thanks to you. I'd like to make a special thanks to Mr. Moore for hosting. He's done a great job here, but more importantly, he does a great job in the classroom every single day, changing lives. And that's impressive. Speaking of impressive, the students, Jana, Jahan, our alum, Chidi, incredible. Making us proud today, and I'm making us proud every day. Thank you to Christine, Sister Karen, Frank, uh, the whole entire trustee, board of trustees, the CPS principals, thank you for your leadership and foundation that you've built that I'm now joining. Thank you to Brian, Teresa, Dora, uh, White Pine Events, and Mid-Atlantic for putting this event together. Job well done. To the Paparones and the FMA Foundation, thank you again. To all our sponsors, donors, bidders, thank you. Your, your gifts make a difference. You change tomorrow. I hope to meet you all over the coming weeks, months, years, as we advance the mission and take CPS into the future. I look forward to maybe doing a coffee Zoom with you, a coffee chat. Again, I'm gonna turn it over to Barry, thank you. Thank you, John. We look forward to working with you to ensure a quality faith-based education for the children of Catholic partnership schools. For the 865 students, I have a song of encouragement for you. If you believe within your heart, you'll know that no one can change the path that you must go. Believe what you feel and know you're right because the time will come around when you'll say it's yours. Believe 
there's a reason to be Believe you can make time stand still And know from the moment you try If you believe I know you Right from the start Believe in the magic That's inside your heart Believe all these things Not because I told you to But believe in yourself Just believe in yourself Yourself as I believe in you. A huge thanks to all who joined us this evening to celebrate Bruce and Cheryl Pepperone and the Ethel May Hawker Foundation. Do we have a final tally? We do. Our, in the auction we raised $5,625, our donations were $12,200, and totally we raised $1,023,725. We are deeply grateful your, to, for your continued support have a wonderful evening and cheers.